can't get enough, right? We asked our Craig Ward to continue digging up some of his old film as we share highlights from his 50 plus years in TV. We've discovered he must be pretty persuasive for the Air Force once let him fly a jet, a railroad let him drive a train, Goodyear let him fly the blimp, and we have no idea how he got permission to do what you are about to see in tonight's story. Enjoy. You mean you wonder about when I went joyriding in the presidential limo? Hey, you never know if you can't, if you don't ask. As we get into every political season, I think about that day when I drove the presidential limo all around Salt Lake City. You've maybe seen stories about the presidential limo. Today, it's sort of a Cadillac called the Beast. We've always seemed to be fascinated by the presidential ride. Now in 1984, just before President's Day in February, to be exact, President Reagan got one of the most customized and sophisticated cars to date. Oh, it was big news. He and it became iconic symbols all across America. Years ago, President Reagan's limo was on display here in Salt Lake City. Car dealer Jerry Siner knew some folks who apparently knew some folks, and here it was. The President of the United States would sit right where we're sitting. And how many conversations were there with other world leaders or with Kissinger? And uh, whenever I get in it, I, I just get that kind of feeling. A clean one owner with bulletproof windows and a cool seal on the door. I asked if I could drive it back then. That isn't that they said I could drive it. It's more that they did not say that I could not drive it. Yes, so I did. Now let me tell you, this was a tight squeeze getting it out the door. And also the front end was down the hall and almost into the men's room. This wasn't a small car. Well, I got it into the lot. It actually was kind of a lethargic tank. It was so heavy. They have that triple glass, and I've been told that uh, this would probably take a larger hit than a tank. Now I wondered where should I go? Well, I thought it would be cool to stop at UTA bus stops and pick up people. Kind of an uber presidential service to help balance the budget. People were amazed. I felt like the president sitting in there, yeah. And how about you? And I felt like the Mrs. President. <laughs> <laughs> Then I had a presidential inspiration. I saw an opportunity down the road. Could I get it through a McDonald's drive through Yep, an honest to goodness McDonald's drive through Hamburger and a uh, small Coke. After all, even though I'm a vegetarian, a hamburger is fitting because the president is the big cheese. No free lunch, even if you are the prez. But you do get a laugh. I'm surprised, though, she didn't call the police. Here, Mr. President. Good grief. No cup holder in the whole car. Oh, the greatest feature is this. A shut out the driver window. Yes, my fellow Americans, this is quite a car. And by the way, it had good tunes for the day. The only bad thing, it did not get Channel 4 on the TV. Get the Secret Service on that immediately. You know, I kind of get the idea that maybe now they wouldn't let you do that. You know, drive the presidential limo. <laughs> and by the way, as I said, it really wasn't a road cruiser. It was too long. It was 17 inches longer than a normal Fleetwood. The roof was raised three inches. That added to the weight. And there was armor in the doors and five-inch thick glass. That made it not very good on gas economy. Oh, but I did get a lot of attention. And what was so strange? No one called the police. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but both the president and the car had been retired by then. No one called the police. It had, you know, presidential You're just such a, such a person. No one would suspect you're doing anything that was, like, <laughs> out of normal. I mean, wouldn't that be rather obvious? You're driving around. No, Craig, you're the big cheese. No, I mean, no. you see what I'm talking about, the president. But if I saw you driving a presidential limo, I'd say, yep, I saw and that coming. you tell him no, right? No. It's not <laughs> just your persuasive skills. I mean, you could, yeah, we could never tell you no. no. <laughs>